Another box came in today from DHL. You can see Prince. And you can see it's fragile. Came from uh, Ecuador, as a matter of fact, in Central America. Got my razor blade, and the box is kind of big, so I got some scissors just in case. But first, we're going to try to get this wrapping off of it now. I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I ordered some from Ecuador in early January. After a few weeks of not hearing from the guy I bought these from, I tried to get a hold of him on Discogs. Pretty much felt like I got ghosted. So, wait a couple more weeks. Reached out to him again and finally got a hold and he asked me, which records was it that you ordered? Um, okay, so I told him again. After that conversation, still waited a couple weeks and didn't hear anything from the guy. I was beginning to think I needed to file a claim, get my money back, which I hated to do, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I get an email, hey, DHL is sending your package. And from Central America, that's where you get it from is DHL. However, I'm still a little bit worried if you're opening this thing because the name of his record shop was different on Discogs than it was on who said it was sending me stuff. And the name of the guy himself was different on the DHL as opposed to on the Discogs page where I bought them. So we're going to see what I've got here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be what I ordered, but uh, I'll be just as surprised as you, I guess. Oh, look at this. Bubble wrap. Get the bubble wrap off. Oh. Ah, uh, nothing I love more than filler records. There it is. That's not what I wanted. That's just the filler record. <laughs> Another one. Woohoo! That is filler. I can't speak Spanish, so hard for me to tell you what those are. All right. Yes. I am. Wow. There it is. Which one is this now? This is Cream from Ecuador. I, it's hard to find these Ecuadorian pressings without writing on them. It's okay. I will take it. But look, it is in the actual original sleeve. I was not aware that it was in the sleeve. So it's been worth that wait <laughs> from January to get that. Oh, now, ladies and gentlemen, America from Ecuador. What's on the back? Oh, girl is on the B side in the original sleeve. You're not going to believe this. See that HGA on there? I ordered one from another seller, had the exact same HGA on it. Pretty interesting. All right. And finally, Ecuador, get off in the original sleeve. I am just. I am absolutely stoked that these are in original sleeves. Look at Get Off doesn't even have writing on it. Oh, man. Oh. Look at this. This is a bonus. I'm not sure what's in here. I've got two bonus filler records. Wow. All right, I'm not going to complain about this. It's a 45 for Controversy. And when you were mine from Ecuador in the original sleeve, I did not buy this from this seller. So this is an incredible, this makes up for waiting for so long. The original sleeves on these Ecuador pressings make up for taking so long to get to me. I am very happy with this order, even though it took so long to get to me. I mean, sometimes good things come to those who wait. Ecuador pressings galore. I love it. Thank you for watching this video and uh, being so excited for me. I appreciate it.